Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power, they're the world's most fearsome fighting team, we're really hip, the Heroes in a Half Shell and they're green, hey get a grip, when the evil Shredder attacks, these turtle boys don't cut them no slack, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Splinter taught them to be a ninja team, he's a radical rat, Leonardo leads, Donatello does machines, that's a fact Jack, Raphael's cool but rude, give me a break, Michelangelo's a party dude, Hooray! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Hey everyone, and welcome to the live stream that I have scheduled. And this is my first time scheduling a live stream, so I was a tiny bit late because I didn't know how to get it started. And I still don't know how my sister got it started. But at least it started. Um, and uh, I have... Uh, been sent some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, Snow Days Pizza Bites. And this is my first time trying them, so I'd like to uh, hand me the plate. Wahaha. We picked out the perfect plate for it. It is a pizza plate. So pepperoni pizzas get a pepperoni pizza plate. And these are pepperoni bites, so they do have meat to them. Uh, they're organic. I was going to bring the bag out here, and I didn't. But I did post pictures of the bag on my Instagram, uh, at Cowabunga Corner, so you can see the bags. Uh, there's also links to Snow Days where you can order these pizza bites. And uh, these are cooked nice and brown, uh, cooked up for 8 minutes at 425 in the oven. And we got it all set up. Uh, you, you, if got, any... you got quite a few guys. Oh, and hello, a, hello, a hello, hello. from hello. Louisiana, too. Ooh. Louisiana, I, I do like uh, some definitely awesome powdered donuts down there. Beignets. Yes, the beignets. <laughs> um, been to New Orleans a couple times. I, I like it. <laughs> so, I want to show these off. I only have five on the plate. We did cook up the whole bag, but five is what is the recommended serving size, so I'm splitting the bag up with the others here. I'm on a road trip, so I can't take any of these home with me. That's why I cook up the entire bag. But it is a Ziploc bag, so if you just take out what you want for food, you can put it back in the freezer for later, which is something that I really like. I just wish I got them when I was home, so I could have made them last out. Hopefully, I enjoy these, because I think I will. Hey, I call me Casey, says, looks tasty. Ooh, yes. So, growing up in a glass bowl with chameleon lizards and tadpoles, it hardly into your mind that there's something better than this. I let it sleep in a carrot, maybe a seed from a parrot. Believe me when I say the word gomezus don't exist. But pizza power, a flying saucer food delight. Pizza power, oh, that's what makes us feel all right. When we all began changing, our sizes all began rearranging. It led us to discover the kind of food that we like best. Color brand is it burglar french fries. So work the turtles on our side, ice cream cake or apple pie. They don't even pass the test, dudes, but pizza power, a flying saucer food delight. Pizza power, that's what makes us feel all right. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of pizza power before I pop some of these in and find out if I like this. <laughs> it's always nerve-wracking eating while on video. <laughs> but here's a pizza for anyone interested. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have taken such a big bite at first. Mm. These are delicious. It tastes like I just popped in a slice of pizza in my mouth. Um, it's got a nice, uh, not a heavy crust, but like um, a Detroit style crust, uh, jet pizza. Um, it's like not thin, but it's not like super thick, and uh, the pepperoni isn't spicy at first, but there is a tiny bit of a kick to the pepperoni as the part of the aftertaste. Uh, JRR24 says, do you like spicy foods? No, Man, I don't like spicy George foods. George wants to know where he found them. Oh, well these were sent to me by Snow Bites, no, uh, no, uh, by Snow Days. Uh, the ones who made these, so I don't know, um, I don't know any stores that carry them, but I do know that they have posted 
on one of my posts, my first post showing the snow days, uh, has a comment linking to the two places where you can order online to get your hands on your own pizza bites. And we can put that link in the Yeah, I can afterwards. add the links into the descriptions. Uh, it sh basically was links back to other people's um, uh, Instagram accounts. So, that was so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, open one of these up a little bit you can see the cheese in there and you can taste the mozzarella you can taste the, the pizza flavor I remember when I was a kid I got pizza bites and they were really spicy and so I declared myself not a pizza bites fan because it was too spicy for me because I don't like spicy food and uh, these are not too spicy for me. These are something I can enjoy because it's normal like pizza sauce. Osco2215 said generally looks tasty. It is. Um, <laughs> and Dalton OTCB says they look very good. These are delicious and they're organic um, JRR24 has said, Ever you, have you ever been on a swamp tour when you visited Louisiana? No, I have not. Uh, we did volunteer over at Arnold, which is Arnold, a Animal Rescue New Orleans. Yeah, Animal Rescue New, New Orleans. We volunteered. I got to walk some dogs and stuff. Uh, that was fun. We spent an entire day over there helping out. Um, and then we went to a few of the locations downtown, but we didn't have a time to stick around because we were trying to keep up with the 2009 Ninja Turtle tour at that time um, and uh, we were visiting friends while we were in the area but that sounds like something I'd love to do that really does that sounds like a lot of fun mm. I like any more comments <laughs> JRR24 said cool Ooh. Yes, these are really good. Um, how many of you guys like pizza bites normally, or how many find them too spicy usually? Um, if th that's usually a problem, you should try these. But I'm serious that these actually taste like taking a slice of pizza. And I I've never had a pizza bite taste that much like pizza before. Hi, George. Fitness Frank says, good to see you. Cowabunga. And Crazy Team and Tea Collector says, uh, super cool. We look forward to trying them. Love the shirt, too. PM yeah. Ferio said, hi, Michelle. Wow, didn't expect to see you live. Fitness Frank says, you're a legend, by the way. <laughs> they do call me Casey. says, if you do go on a swamp tour, watch out for Leatherhead. And George says, do you have the Team and Tea Mutant Mayhem chips? I have one bag. I have the original... Cheeto ones, the, the pitos that came out um, at uh, Sam's Club a few months ago. Not, sorry, that, that the, the pitos did not really win me over, so I'm actually afraid that they did more flavors. <laughs> I'll probably still try them if you I will. get my hands on them. I know I will. But uh, I, I'm glad I did not vi get video of me putting uh, a pito in my mouth for the first time. <laughs> And I do like organic food, and I do like veg vegetarian food as well, so that's not the problem. I, I do love my re real cheese. Now, if you want some good uh, vegan cheese, there's this smoked Gouda by uh, Follow Your Heart, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> yes, Follow Your Heart. I love the name of the company. I don't know why. Follow Your Heart. <laughs> Team Furious said, Michelle is awesome. Back in 2020 or 2021, she had a long conversation with me on Facebook about things. It was really nice I, nice of her. I hope she's doing okay. I'm doing okay. And Fett said, tried the turtle pizza, pepperoni, and marshmallows. As long as the marshmallows burn, it look, work, it's a little, it works. It burns a little, it works. Is that like getting a pizza from anywhere and adding the marshmallow to it? Because uh, I've tried, I've got all the different uh, Ninja Turtle pizzas that I know was out there. Uh, but I have, uh, like my favorite is definitely the Mac Attack so far. There is, um, a, there is that recipe book. 
Oh, the recipe book. That's right. I have the recipe book, and we plan to try and cook them all for a Cowabunga Corner cooking show. I just haven't had the chance to get something going because of uh, our living situations. But I got a lot of guests who want to get on and have pizzas with me, so the ones I don't eat, we can still cook and they can eat up. <laughs> I am a fussy eater. I really am. Mm. One last one. Okay. Werewolf Girl 26 is hi, Michelle. And George is saying, I'll be sending you a surprise package with Team and Team Man items. Ooh. And Toka looks like he's sleeping. Well, or sweating, or I, I, he gave it a face. Oh, okay. Hey, Toka, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Crazy Team and Tea Collector says, yeah, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I'd stick around much longer uh, to talk, but we do have dinner plans since this is our last full day here in Los Angeles. We got lunch plans too. Yeah, we got lunch plans. Um, yesterday we spent time out with friends, and today we got a few more friends. PM Ferrier <laughs> said, I noticed a number of your videos became unlisted. I have OCD about watching things in order, so hopefully <laughs> one day you can unlist the videos. I've only unlisted one, and uh, that one video was requested to be unlisted by the person in the video. So until I have his permission to relist it, I cannot put it back out there. Um, I do have videos that are unlisted that were never listed to begin with, so you'd still see them in order. Uh, those were just videos made for the website, which is sadly down right now. So we've been talking about making them listed so that they're still out there. But the entire write-ups and uh, original photos and stuff that was connected to those videos on the website are gone. I wish the website could get back up, but it's going to take some money. And I'm working on a few personal projects before we get around to trying to fix CowabungaCorner.com. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and do more videos here on YouTube, uh, which is where Cowabunga Corner started. So that makes sense for me to try and do the videos here. The street has gotten loud. JRR24 said there's a pizza place in Louisiana called La Pizzeria. It's like a pizza subway. Ooh, okay. Crazy team and tea collector. We need a ooze drink. Elaine says, do you still have the cool packaging for the pizza bites? Of course I do. I won't be getting rid of those. Those I can at least flatten and, and bring with me. And we're going to use the box that they came in for packing up uh, stuff at our storage locker that we have out here. Yes, I do have a storage locker in Los Dalton Angeles. Dalton OTCB said, I really like your video about Team and T3. I have made a big drawing with Team and T3 stuff on it and recreated the scroll with that drawing. Oh, cool. It's like a big mural. I'll have to send you a picture. The Imperia said, oh, the videos were linked from the website, so that is why I can't watch them. No problems. George, any chance do you have new Team and T Mutant remote control van? And the controller looks like pizza slice. I know what you're talking about. I've seen it at the stores, but at this time, I do not have that. We I don't have most of the toys. on the road right now. So. Yeah, we've been on the road since all this stuff started coming up in stores. And when you're on the road, you don't fill up your car with toys. You let other people do it. And uh, for me, the stuff that got filled up in the car was the, the NECA stuff from uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. I was she treated needs very well. If she wants to get more, she's got to get a shrink ray because we got to be able to fit in the car too. Yeah, we got to fit in the car. And we're going to be driving through hot areas like Arizona, so we can't put the stuff on the roof rack or the back of the car or the packaging will get damaged. JRR24 says, I love your video about the next mutation scripts. Oh, the next mutation. I want to sit down and do like some script readings for deleted scenes and stuff. I'm missing one of my scripts, and then there was like maybe four scripts of the series I never got, which included two clip episodes, so those I'm not as worried about, Like, but i am definitely got a bunch of scripts, a bunch of next mutation scripts where I've been hoping that I could get some time to sit down and like do some script readings uh, to share what an episode could have been if they stuck to the scripts better in the editing room. I mean, my favorite scenes are in that uh, that first episode, which were cut. Um, and also, trusting Dr. Queese is my favorite script, but it is my least favorite episode besides for the first five, because I feel that uh, trusting Dr. Queese had a lot more to it in the script. And when I saw certain scenes, like why Donatello's trusting Dr. Queese was cut out, I'm like, no, why? 
Um, it was a beautifully, beautifully done written script. Uh, Pizza Boy said, what's your thoughts on The Last Ronin? I love The Last Ronin. I love where uh, Tom and Kevin have gone with it. I got a feeling that the script is a lot different than what it would have been if uh, Kevin and Peter finished it back when they originally started writing it. Because they started writing it, there was only the Mirage universe in their head. And this is their own universe. This is not even the IDW universe. This is their own universe of the Turtles. So it's an interesting concept, and I like seeing that they keep developing it more in different directions. Lost Years, Lost Day, uh, it's a pretty epic series. Anyone who's not been following the IDW series, check these out. Team, for one major thing that's been annoying me right now is Nickelodeon has brought the rights to the Fred Wolf series and has made them no attempt to remaster them for streaming. The well, episode of the official YT channel, for instance, looks and sounds worse than the DVDs. Okay, so the, I, I'm guessing that the the uh, thing with the intro is they could not get the YouTube rights on the song. Um, I have not uh, heard any official word on it, but I do know that the original Fred Wolf cartoon is coming to streaming next year. Kevin Eastman announced that at San Diego Comic-Con during the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem panel. So we got that news live straight from Kevin Eastman that that is definitely coming to streaming. Other than that, um, we have uh, them trying to get everything out there and doing it pretty fast. So I don't know what the rights issue is with the theme song. It'd be interesting to find that out from an official source. And I have not even heard it since, again, I've been on the road. I know it's on YouTube and I can watch it on any device. I just have been running the entire time trying to do the different um, events that we're doing. I mean, I had pizza with one of the Michelangelo's yesterday. So, <laughs> yes, I'm having pizza two days in a row. And I do not live on a steady diet of pizza every day, but I made a con uh, um, exception because these came in the mail the same day I got invited to uh, my favorite pizza place. Werewolf Girl, out of all the TMNT series, which one is your favorite? Um, it's a tie, actually, the 1987 series to the 2003 series. 1987, because that will always be what got me into Ninja Turtles the way I am. Uh, it is the show that introduced me to them, that made it so I realized I loved Michelangelo. But I love the 2003 series for their character development, the plot line, everything going all the way through the first at least four seasons. I mean, even Dark Leonardo in season four was something pretty fun to watch. It was an interesting story arc, and Michelangelo was really written the best in that series. Wayne Grayson did a fantastic job performing him. Uh, my favorite Michelangelo voice goes to uh, a tie between Townsend Coleman and Robbie Riss. But for character growth, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely what they did with Wayne. So, yeah. I, I love it all. It's hard to choose. I can say which series I have the hardest time with, which is easier than which series I love the most. Because every series has a part here. Um, but there are some where it's like, eh, they're not my turtles, but I enjoy the show. Um, and that's, that, those are out there too. <laughs> George wants to know, do you have vintage TMNT baby items or new TMNT baby items? <laughs> okay, back in the uh, 80s and 90s, finding anything for babies, and trust me, I was trying for baby showers. We did birthday parties for one-year-olds. Do you know how bad we wanted to find baby stuff? They didn't start doing baby stuff, really, till around the Nickelodeon series time, and it's all made to look like the 1987 turtle stuff so I have like backpacks full of baby bottles there was one time I was going through uh, uh, problems with my chronic regional pain syndrome I have CRPS in my right arm and uh, the pain gets severe and there's times where I'm bedridden and my sister was reading this and uh, her friend uh, turned around and surprised me with a baby bag because uh, you know I needed to be taken care of like a baby so all of a sudden I got all these baby bottles, bibs, and pacifiers from a dollar store. It, it was awesome. They're, they're all inside a backpack together, like, still with their packaging on them. But I love that I have that collection of baby turtle stuff now. Alan Smithy did say, hello, room. And then um, uh, George said, uh, I'm getting the Team and Team Mutant Mayhem movie cardboard display in three weeks. Congratulations. Cam, 
uh, said the official YouTube channel has season one as a movie, and trust me, it looks horrible. I really hope this is a sign of uh, what they plan on streaming for future generations. The show needs to be in HD. Uh, I, I PM, want an HD. PM says either they find the negatives, or I hate to say this, but Nick should spend money and reanimate all the episodes. Uh, They're not going to do that. JRR24 said, I think the 2012 Nicktoon is my favorite because like how they did the characters the best to me. Um, I like Splinter and Shredder the most inside the 2012 series. George says Cowabunga. Cowabunga! <laughs> I'm inside a, a neighborhood that, you know, I'm visiting friends, so I can get pretty loud. And <laughs> we got like this hallway of uh, apartments. <laughs> My so. favorite is the film's universe. The film's universe. Well, we got a handful of films. We got the original three, which I absolutely adore. Uh, the 2007. Uh, and then the Michael Bay films. And now Mutant Mayhem, which... Uh, look look at me. I'm wearing the shirt. Uh, I, I've seen the movie twice. I, if I had financial situations better, I would have seen the movie like 20 times by now with how epic that movie has been. Um, it's not the turtles that I know. They've changed them, but they kept the heart and the spirit better than uh, a, a few areas of turtles that have been released. Uh, they call me Casey. Said was looking at the untold destiny of the Foot Clan miniseries concept. Arch saw Casey had a Foot Clan logo on his head, and interested to see what the uh, they do with the him in the book. Um, George says. You are going to be very surprised when you open your package. Ooh. And then Anchorman, Anchorman, the best team and T villain. Ellen Smithy, the three. Okay, and then the best team and T villain, I'm going to say it depends the series. I really love Dr. Cleese, but more off the scripts in the show, but I also enjoyed him in the show. Uh, Simon Webb was a beautiful actor on that character. Um, I like the Shredder from the 2012 series. The insanity that he goes through is very epic. Uh, the original cartoon series, it's Leatherhead and Rat King teamed up for me. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of really good uh, turtle villains, but those are a few off the top. And what's underneath? Um, then Ellen uh, said, okay, uh, no, they call me Casey, said not head his mask. He, commenting on what he said was about Casey. Okay. Uh, well, you gotta think, in the IDW comics, Hun is his father. So, you know... It's, Stuff could happen, and also there was a bit where they joined a lot of the the good guys joined the foot. So, um, yeah. But if you have not read the comics, you don't know why yet. And I highly, highly, highly recommend the IDW comics. The IDW comics and Mutant Mayhem are my two favorite things. That oh, and the Batman versus Team and T. Uh, so three favorite things that have come out since the Viacom buyout in 2009. J A. JRR24 says, I think 2012 Leonardo is the most likable with when Seth Green played him. George says, Have you seen the four pack team and team mayhem toy that has Mikey, Leo, and Raph Don as Star Trek Spock? Uh, I have seen pictures of it online. I've not seen it in the stores. Uh, I don't go into the stores because I don't have money and I'm on the road. And if my family saw me buying turtle stuff and shoving it into the car, they strangle me because we're already stuffed in that car like sardines. PM says it's a pipe dream, but there, but really, all the cartoons that only exist on video should be reanimated. Apologies. I have a bit of a thing for 80s cartoon preservation. Probably because my of my archivist background. And then Anchorman, Anchorman, weirdest team and T character. Weirdest team and T character? Scumbug and Mutant Mayhem. <laughs> At least Scumbug right now. Um... <laughs> Uh, Bone Steel was kind of weird, but I, I like Bone Steel. That's, uh, that's, uh, Scott McNeil, and I've met him a few times. Pizza Boy says, do you think they should make a movie or series on The Last Ronin? It would be fun, uh, if they do it, they would have to do, like, an HBO or Showtime series where it can be darker and made for, more for adults. Um, I, but I don't see that happening because those series are not with Viacom, no, those channels are not with Viacom. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see a edgier Last Ronin show, but I'd want to see them true to the Last Ronin. 
not just kind of skimming the corners that they have to for most of their PG-13 stuff. Um, but I'm great with PG-13 Ninja Turtle stuff. I don't need all the extra blood or swearing or any of that kind of stuff because I feel like the 2003 series did such a wonderful, wonderful homage to the original Mirage comics. Uh, going with that style does work and that way it's friendly for all ages, not just for us adults or just for little kids. Um, uh, Anchorman, Anchorman ever have issues with friends? Yeah. Ellen Smithy, Jim Henson works shins, but I did love the Batman Ninja Turtle crossover. I adore the Ninja Turtle Batman crossover, but I think I like Mutant Mayhem a little more. Um, the four pack team and team mayhem toy is only sold at Walmart. Uh, JR24, that's what George said. And then JRR24, would you like to, uh, to the 1987 series made into a movie before the voice actors pass? Uh, Alan Smithy, a last Ronin live action would be amazing. And then Ronin246, hey, great to see you live, long time. It's been a while, I'm sorry. I did do a live last week as well over by a Donatello um, bus bench. But uh, I'm going to have to wrap things up right now. Um, thank you guys for joining. Uh, I love uh, the Mutant Mayhem. The pizza bites were completely epic. And um, yes, I, I really did enjoy the pizza bites. As you guys can see, I cleaned my plate even though it still looks like a pizza. Last um, one in live would be amazing. Yeah, last one in live would definitely be amazing. I love the Jim Henson stuff. Um, the reason I like uh, Mutant Mayhem more than uh, the Batman Team of T is that they had a lot of new while still being able to keep it fresh while Batman Team of T did a lot of homages to the past of both Batman and Ninja Turtle just to be fan service. Um, and while that's amazing, I like the idea that somebody was able to catch the spirit without uh, having to rely on old lines and old uh, gimmicks that worked in the past. So, or Ellen Smithy, come back to us soon. I will try. Bye. Uh, they call me Casey. If I had that plate, I would try to eat it. Sam, <laughs> Michelle, no need to apologize for your absence. I just hope your health is all right. It's here. It's George, here. when are you guys going back home? Crazy. Sure. Stay safe and stay green, everyone. Turtle power. George, do you have all five Pizza Hut boxes? <laughs> I'm leaving George. I'm not going to answer questions because if I keep answering questions, I'm going to be stuck on here longer. Um, I'm going to catch everyone next time here on YouTube Live. I'll try and make an announcement again when I'm going to do it. And hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you've not seen Mutant Mayhem, go see it in theaters. And I recommend checking out uh, Snow Days on Instagram to find out how to order these epic pizza bites. Uh, catch you next time. Kawabunga! Bye, everyone.